Slick fighting Irish Simon O'Donnell. Simon, great to see you in Belfast. Yeah, it's in, uh, you've got a couple of fights coming up. You haven't been in the ring for a while. And, and now you've got two coming up, almost like Martin Lindsay, same nights as Martin Lindsay as well. So tell us about the first fight. That's the Shamrock Showdown, 23rd of March in London. That's right, yes. Uh, the Chalksy is Spencer Fearn show on the 23rd. I'm hoping to fight Danny Butler. Um, just, yeah, just training hard, looking forward to it, getting ready for it. And then hopefully everything goes good off the back of that. I'm back over here May 5th for the prize fighter, the All-Irish prize fighter. Just looking at that top table there, there's a lot of talent on it as well. How do you see yourself slotting into, you know, among, amongst all those? Where do, you, do you know much about your opponents um, as well? I've seen a bit of the boys on YouTube, I've seen a bit of Fitzgerald on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I know a bit about Eamon O'Kane and the amateurs. Yeah. Mark uh, Heffron, I've heard a bit about him. But, um, I mean, I've been, I've been James O'Gall's sparring partner since I was 10 years old. Yeah. George Rose's sparring partner since I was 11 years old. I've been to the gyms in America, I was sparring to see Moomer when he was fighting Jermaine Taylor for the world title. I was his main sparring partner. Um, I've been in, I was a boss of the Deleuze for many of champions. Yeah. Train with Jim McDonald. I'm not worried about these boys. I can, yeah. I can mix it with them all. In terms of the format, what do, what do you think of the prize fighter format and how do you think you'll adapt to it, your style? Um, I mean, this is three trees in it, so yeah. it's going to be a fast, explosive pace. I think uh, everyone's going to come on and just, just swing it out and having a fight. I think you have to be a bit clever and I'm going to stick to my game and I'm going to do my boxing and see how we get on. Because you can't box, but you can also scrap. We, yeah, you know, we, we have seen you, especially in, you know, in recent awesome. fights, yeah. that was a right tear off. Yeah. So you, you have the ability to... To swing it out if I need to swing it out, yeah. And that definitely was swinging it out. Swing it out yeah. So tell us, listen, not, not, not a lot of people will have seen that over here. Tell us a little bit about that fight, because it was a cracker. Yeah, it was, it was a good fight. I fought a kid called Ty Mitchell. Uh, he's Clifton Mitchell's son. Yeah. Um, it was a, a six-round fight, boxing... Uh, First round, come out. I was winning the first round. I slipped. You can see it on the replay. Yeah. Didn't hit me. I slipped. Yeah, of course it was so slipped. Yeah. yeah, it slipped. So it was put down as a, a 10 8 round. Yeah. It threw me off. I thought I've got to get on him now, stick it on him, make him fight. And we just went for a war back and forth, back and forth. He caught me, I caught him. Then I finally got him in the fifth. Uh, caught him right on left hook, back up against the rose, hit him a couple of body shots. And that was it. His father just threw in the towel. He had enough. But yeah. it, was, it was a great, great punch out. And in terms of being back in Ireland, because a lot of your earlier fights were, were over here, but you haven't been yeah. here in a while. When was the, when was the last fight you had uh, here? The last fight, that was my last amateur fight, was in Castle Bar. Yeah. In Mayo, I fought a kid, um, I, don't know, I can't forget his name, yeah. but I fought him, I beat him, and uh, that was 2005, 2006. But was it good to be back, good to be back in Ireland, yeah, having, a, having right. a good fight here? Well, let's bury on a little bit. Sorry? Well, let's bury yeah, on addition. I've got family that I haven't seen in years. Yeah. Because I don't come back all that much, yeah. too much. But I've got, I've got a big fan base in Dublin, Galway, uh, Tume. There's a few of the boys. I've got family over here in, in Belfast. So looking forward to it. It should be a good, good turnout. Right, well, listen, I'm really looking forward to it. And we'll catch up with you before the fight anyway. We might even see you at the Troxy. Yeah, hey, thank you. Cheers, thanks very much.